thank you for that uh, very warm welcome. On behalf of um, Ben and Joan and the key singer in the Hoyles family, just want to thank you for your presence here. It's just a joy to see you all and each of you add greatly to this occasion. For many of you, it's uh, been quite a journey. We recognise that for some, it's been a journey of a long distance. And I just want to give um, special thanks to one of the ushers, Barney, who came over specially from South Africa to be here today. So good It continues to be a sacrifice being here. Um, those of you that are key Manchester City fans <laughs> and just wondering and maybe have heard that Wigan have just scored. <laughs> and um, final whistle is just a few minutes away. We recognise that. Sacrifice <laughs> Tell me you're really rubbing it. I know. <laughs> Poor old Dave. But I turn to Joe and Ben and some words about uh, my darling daughter. Just to say that um, Psalm 139, the verse there says, I give thanks to God for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Well, the moment that um, 23 years ago that I first clapped eyes on Jo, she captured my heart. She always and every time just captivates me with her beauty, as she was as a baby, as, as a six, seven year old walking her to school in a small town in Somerset called Watchit, and just being amazed by her staggering beauty, by her prom as a 16-year-old at what was then Abbeyland, her 21st birthday, and then just seeing Jo just walk down the stairs at home for the first time that I saw her in her dress. Not only her beauty, but also characteristics that she takes from her mum. She's certainly her mother's daughter. Just that deep sensitivity and compassion for others. And just a great person to be around, a real friend to men. And I turn to Ben, and I just am um, just so proud that, uh, to call you my son in law, Ben. Known you quite a while now. And I'm just very impressed with you. I just want to commend Stephen Ross for an outstanding son you can. Ben, I don't know if I've said this to you, but there was a prayer meeting a few years ago, and you came and prayed for me. And that meant so much to me. That meant there was a young man of substance and of character. And too, Ben, the way that you just so seamlessly have moved into our family life. I look at my nieces, Lauren and Olivia, and what a joy it is to call them nieces now. It's a real joy to see you both here, girls, and to say how much they love you and how much as a family we have welcomed you and are just so pleased that you're now part of our family. Ben, I would um, turn to you again and just say, um, having the joy and privilege of being married to we now nearly 30 years, Ben, to just cherish Joe, to truly know what it means to cherish a wife in every sense of that word. And I just know that you will. And I look forward to my daughter continuing to flourish as you continue to cherish her. 
Joe. I turn to you, my darling. And I would just ask that you just don't allow Ben to settle for anything less that God is calling him to be. Because in a husband, not only have you a husband, darling, but you have in a husband the potential to be a spiritual father. It says in 1 Corinthians that there are many teachers, that there are many guides, but there are few spiritual fathers. And Ben, I'm just saying a word of prophecy here to you, my dear son. Potentially in you, there is a spiritual father. And you will have spiritual, with your spiritual sons and daughters. And I just look forward to that. So, Joe, just give Ben time. Just give him space. Just do not allow him, as mum does for me, don't allow him just to settle for second best, but encourage him to press it to the spiritual father that he's going to be, along with you, my as a spiritual mother. So, in his first day of married life, I am so delighted to call you Mr. and Mrs. Kinsey. Can we raise, can we stand, can we raise our glasses and can we toast Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Joe Kinsey, the bride and the groom. The bride and the groom. First of all, my wife and I would really like to uh, welcome you all to our wedding reception. It's really nice to see so many of you joining with us today on our special day. Thank you all for being here with us to share this with us. Um, it wouldn't have been the same without you all. Cheaper, but not the same. <laughs> thank you, Tom, for your kind words. And also, a massive thank you to yourself and Gwen for the way for enabling us to have such a wonderful day. And not only making my wife and I so happy on this day, but in also welcoming me to your family. I'd just like to take this opportunity to invite you all to join me in a toast to Tom and Wynne. I really can't express how happy I am to be joining Joe's family. As since I've met you, you've shown nothing but kindness except an encouragement for Joe and I. I would go into details, but I feel we'll be here for far too long. Mum and Dad, thank you for your tolerance, love and ongoing support. In bringing me up to be the man that I am today. Also, a very big thank you for all the hours you slaved over making the orders of service for today, along with everything else we've done. My wife and I would like to say a big thank you to all of the bridesmaids for everything they've done today and just really notice how beautiful they all look today. Thank you. So, if you'd all join me again in a toast to the bridesmaids. Now for my best man. He really is like a brother to me. However, he does live in a galaxy far, far away, where there is no distinction between fact and fiction, which causes him to often invent elaborate stories. He often believes these to be very true and can be very, very convincing when telling them, so don't believe anything he says. <laughs> I'd just like to say a special thank you now to Nathan Target for doing our photography over here. To uh, Brendan for filming the day for us. <laughs> to Paul and Adele for leading the worship this morning. <laughs> to Nathan and Jenny for helping us through our marriage cap uh, the marriage preparation course over the last year. 
From when you first agreed willingly to be my girlfriend, Whoa. I've been looking forward ever since that day to today to be able to look over my shoulder to see you coming towards me, knowing that you're going to be my wife. I must say now that even after looking forward to it for so long, you did not disappoint me. You looked so amazing when you were coming down there, it was hard to uh, hold in the tears. You're the most beautiful person in the world that I've ever seen. Not only in your appearance, but also in your heart and in your spirit and your compassion. I am so excited to be starting our family together today. And loving you every day for the rest of my life. Thank you. <laughs> I'd just like to dedicate to my beautiful wife, to Jo. Yeah. 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 Hi everyone. My name's Jo, which is a little bit confusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't actually me walking down the aisle towards me. I don't look that good in the dress. It was for Friday nights only. Um, <laughs> apparently, when we were signing, signing the register, there was a picture of me on the uh, slideshow in a, in a dress. Um, so, Ben, we're no longer friends. Um, no. I'd like to start and end the speech in a toast. So, if, I'd like everyone to join me in a toast to Tom, Wynne, Steve, and Roz for not only putting on the wedding and letting us celebrate this special day for Ben and Joe, but also for raising two amazing young people who found happiness in each other. Tom Wynn, Stephen Ross. <coughs> I want to thank everyone else for coming today as well. Um, I know how important it is for Ben and Joe that you are here, so thank you very much. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here today to celebrate this uh, special occasion with my friend, someone who I've grown up with and who me and my brother Reuben consider to be our brother. <laughs> Thanks, Reuben. <laughs> um, as I just said, I've known Ben my whole life and... Uh, if there's anything I've learned about Ben, it's that he's determined. Joe would probably say persistent. I'm going to say determined. Uh, when we were young, we used to ride our bikes at a nearby uh, BMX track. And boys being boys, we used to race and see who could go the fastest. Um, and right at the end, there's this series of uh, humps and bumps. And everyone knows that if you hit humps and bumps going quite quickly, well, you, well, you know what happens, don't you? Ever the genius Ben uh, manages to hit these full pelt. <laughs> and he ends up with some horrendous grazes on his back. And he was so determined not to cry mm. until he got home. <laughs> <laughs> and he cried his eyes out. <laughs> um, ben was determined to make Joe his wife and looking at her today. Who can blame him? She looks absolutely fantastic. Okay? Ben's very lucky. And Joe's also very lucky. <laughs> uh, she's found someone who manages to put others before himself and can empathise with people. And I know Ben's been there for me on more than one just more than just one occasion to support me. I can't tell you how grateful I am to have Ben as my friend. He's kind, honest, sensitive and loyal and I found that this is what makes a real man. Um, it's not about being the uh, tallest or the strongest or the fastest Ben or the hairiest. <laughs> ben does trump most people on the hairy department. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jay, you found yourself an upstanding guy to be your husband. When we were growing up, me, Reuben and Ben, we were really lucky and we had loads of toys to play with. And um, we used to, before we played with them, we used to spread them out on the floor and uh, spend hours 
choosing. Steve's laughing. See if you remember. Yeah. Choosing these toys, and some of the time we never got to play with them. <laughs> Ros drove everyone mad, but Ros in particular. I can remember getting pret- really irate about it actually. <laughs> um, but the point is, we couldn't make a decision. I still can't make a decision. But when Ben got to know you, Joe, he made a, a decision that I'm sure he'll agree was the best and easiest decision he's ever made. Ben and Joe bring the best out of each other. I've got a quote here which I hope that Ben and Joe don't live up to. Um, Irving Benson and Jesse Carter were married in church on the 24th of October. So ends a friendship that began in their school days. Marriage is all about friendship, and I know how close Ben and Joe are. And I not only encourage you to cherish that friendship, but also to protect it. People who aren't married often ask the question, me included, how do you know when he or she is the one? And I was speaking to my friend about it, and he gave me an answer that completely hits the spot. It's, uh, he said, marriage isn't finding someone you can live with. It's about finding the person you can't live without. And I can tell you today that Ben's found that person. So I'd like you all to raise a glass and a toast to the happy couple. Here's to a lifetime of happiness and love for Joe and Ben.